Hello everyone, it is the Nacho Dad. Although I think I'm going to change that name. It's a little silly. Episode 5. Just as a quick reminder, we took Granite back after killing a carrier up here in Episode 3. We then sent a barge back to regain our petrol. At the same time, we were taking out a carrier about here, and thinking about taking over Vulcan. We're going to take over Vulcan without going there. We're going to fly a petrel that has a seal attached to it, and we're going to do that right now. I'm actually going to move my albatross away. I'm going to see what uh, A4 is my petrel and it's the seal that I always keep S1 as my seal. So what we're going to do is we're going to send that petrol over to Vulcan at the same time that we are uh, flying a Manta up to Thermoplay. Need to configure that. And we'll start taking over Thermoplay at the same time. So I've, this is what I like to do in kind of more advanced play is do multiple islands at the same time. I'm sure it would be a lot easier to do it if I had somebody else playing with me. But it keeps it nice and... Uh, it keeps it hard, which I like. Alright, here comes our petrol, and I'll show you, once that petrol takes off, how to pick up. So, if you set a waypoint just a bit away from what you want to pick up, and then drag a second waypoint to it, you'll see this little hook. I then like to reduce the altitude to about 100 to 150, and what will happen is that will then go pick up, and that is the easiest way to pick up a uh, ground vehicle. Letting this albatross get away, which I shouldn't, it only has 23% fuel, so. Alright, so we're going to fly this petrol. Now that it's picked it up, you'll see that it they've merged together, and I'll show you on the viewfinder what it looks like as it flies away. There it is, and you'll see there's the petrol and there's the seal, and it's like there's a cord attached or something. We will then wait for this Manta to take off. So while that's happening, um, I'll show you what the maximum speed of the petrol is. So if you hop in and take manual control, Move your throttle all the way up and then nose in, because this is, after all, a helicopter. You can get the petrol up to about 120, well, you can get it up to 125. And at 125, you will stop gaining altitude. You can go a little bit faster than 125, but you will be losing altitude. So you'll see that our altitude is pretty stable at 560 and we are nearing 125. As soon as we get to 125, if your nose is too far down, you'll start losing a little bit of your uh, altitude. So just nose up until you're right at about 125 and you should not gain any altitude anymore. Makes things a lot easier and a lot faster than letting the AI fly at 53 miles per hour, or whatever the measurement is, 53 kilometers. Also another quick tip, for me it's tab, as you'll see in the bottom left um, menu. You can hit tab and you can actually see a map of the location near you. You can see I'm going kind of east, northeast, and I'm going to jump out because we now have a Manta up. And I remember that I wanted to go over and to take out 
that remaining ground vehicle that I left at this island. Just because it always forces this music every time the barge goes to this island, and so anytime we build something and go pick it up, it'll do this music. Uh, another tip is if you hit T, you can target your vehicle, and it will show you exactly where to shoot. Right in the middle. So there we go. I'm gonna hop out of this one and it will go up and start to start to uh, fly around thermoplay. Show you this again. So now we are in and I've noticed that it connects more slowly depending on how far things are away from you, which I think is pretty cool. So right now I'm looking to see if there are any um, aircraft or any ground vehicles here and to that point any aircraft, but it does not look like they've been repopulated. And we'll show you when I hit the tab button, there is the small map that overlay. So I'm also going to try and determine where I want to land this thing, and I think it's going to be just north of the uh, of the base, and so I'm going to set that, I'm going to put it at about 200, and then if you click this deploy vehicle, then the petrol will drop the seal. I'm gonna make sure that I didn't lose that albatross. And I did not lose it. So now I'm going to, now that everything is landed, I'm gonna head up towards that island. turn off my radar to give me a little bit better speed and there's the other island so it's going to be right about say 330 ish all right so now I'm going to go in and check to make sure that my albatross has dropped its payload it is not yet so I'm actually going to hop in there and show you what it looks like as it is dropping so here it is we're just to the north, it has now dropped the seal. So I can exit that, I can zoom in and select the seal. I'm then going to hit two, manual, release those vi virus bots. And I like to just, this is just me, I like to drive a little bit away from them and find a place that doesn't have too many uh, trees. And then again, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the petrol a distance away we're going to then drag the second waypoint right on to the seal and then I set that at about 150 and it'll come over now I'm actually hoping that it will it doesn't look like it's going to so every once in a while the petrol will get in a circle where it is it's trying to get close enough to your seal but it doesn't and it just kind of weirdly circles if that ever happens, you will want to hop into the petrol and stop the circles, kind of like back up, slow down, re reduce your uh, altitude or something like that. And that will help and then jump out and it'll go in and it will then um, pick up your vehicle. So. Starting to spot this island. This is a one shield. So there's five, six, and ten vehicles spotted. Probably going to be more. Twelve vehicles, thirteen vehicles. Oops. Fourteen. 
and checking for any turrets. Nope, no turrets. So I could do some swooping, but I think uh, let's see how this petrol is doing. It has 68% fuel. Let it get here. I think I will take out some ground targets with my Manta. What I did there was risky, but it is only a one shield. I would never do that in a two or a three shield. Now, later on, as I'm starting to take out two and three shields, I will, um, I will identify what weapons all of these ground vehicles have to make sure there are not any uh, anti-aircraft, which I'll always take out in a different way. Let me see how close my carrier is. I'm going to slow up the carrier. Wow, let's do a 99. And we have taken the barge Vulcan. Barge uh, Island. I'm going to make a couple of barges now because how many can I make? I can make two. That will change everything. And then while I'm in here, I'm going to add some more rockets because I like rockets. All right, now that the... What's our speed? 14 knots, okay. Let's get back to taking out ground vehicles. Going up to right about 900. And then coming over the top. And again, as this is a one shield, I really don't worry too much about getting shot down. The biggest thing I worry about is augering in because I've chosen a bad angle and gotten too close. So I'm actually turning on my map to see if the carrier is anywhere near, and it's not, so I'm still safe. Targeting and... have four or so left. Come over the top here. So that little ting that you just heard, it, it means that they just hit me with a cannon. But it's only one of these little 30 millimeters, so it doesn't, you know, one hit isn't going to kill you. So I will shoot a few more times, or a longer burst, when I am shooting at a, um, at a ground vehicle that's in the water. Because it seems to take more hits. It's probably just because you have to get direct and there's no, you know, the collateral kind of shrapnel from hitting the ground. 
I think we missed a... Um, ground vehicle, yeah. There's a ground vehicle directly underneath me somewhere. There's a couple. Right, directly below me right now. So, only reasonable spotting and... I'm gonna get back up and then pop out and see if I can spot that. Felt like there was another one that, uh, back here as well. But it's too foggy right now. Yep, there is another one right there. I don't need to spot it. This one looked like it was in the water. I am going to spot it, because I can't see it right now. Love them. Oh, there's a. I can't see them. There's one with his lights on. Go take this one out. I always love when they turn on their lights. And the great thing about the lights being on is it tells you which direction they're, dri they're driving. So if you shoot in that direction, you're more likely to hit them, lead them. Alright, there's the second guy. I'm going to get enough altitude so I don't auger in. I heard an explosion, but I didn't see him blow up. And I still see shooting. Whoa! Alright, where is our... Oh, good. We got our petrol. And so we can... Um, if I had been more efficient at killing those ground vehicles, I could have not had the petrol land, and I could have um, picked up launched another seal and then picked up that second seal with that petrol. But for now, we're just going to travel up here to thermo play. I'm actually going to turn to 30 degrees. While we do that, and while we do that, I'm going to start thinking about the next island. So the next island is a two uh, two shield. So I'm going to launch both those things again. I'm also... I don't have much ammunition. So I'm also going to launch... I need another Manta. So this albatross I'm not going to use. I will put a manta in its place. And for this manta, I'm going to put rockets on it. 
put in some countermeasures and a camera. Start loading that one up. I'm also going to get rid of this razor bill and I'm going to do a Manta here and this one is going to be anti-air. I need to think about building some more um, rocket pods. I have four. So this one, this new barge will go here, and then I need to send a barge down to my warehouse. Okay. While that's happening, I hope my yep, my petrol has launched, and so again, set a waypoint away, then pull it back. I like to drop that waypoint uh, altitude, and I'm actually going to sail away from it a bit. so they can do their thing. And we will start surveilling the next island. I'm probably going to take a shot at the island. Because it's a two shield, there will more than likely be aircraft there, and so I will strafe the island with rockets, just a few, uh, near the airport. I also should consider putting up an albatross or something in case any of those aircraft that are likely there get up. Alright, so next we're going to tell this petrol to deploy the vehicle. I'm again going to look with my camera and I can set down anywhere there. Let me make sure that for those barges I have enough things ordered. Don't need any more albatrosses. Should probably get a few more virus modules. I'm getting the four flare launchers, getting four rocket pods over there. Ah. 20 millimeter ammunition. have 20,000 in storage and 15,000 on the ship and I go go through it pretty quickly. All right, the petrol has dropped the seal. Drop the virus spots. chose the wrong thing. So we got that going. I now have this Manta. Show you how I strafe an airport. You see the hangar down there, and I will put up some rockets at the front and at the back. No, 
now I will go back up to my 900 and give it over to Bang, it looks like we got three aircraft. Make sure there's no more. Sorry about that. While I'm coming around the side, I'll start uh, spotting these. Again, very nice of them to have their lights on. So I don't see any aircraft there. Keep spotting. So our petrol has picked it up. No, oh, that's the wrong thing. Petrol has picked it up. Bring the petrol back. And now that I'm around the back end of this thing, see if there are... No, I do not see any other aircraft. So there were just three... Nope, there is one aircraft. that petrol's landing, I am going to put the full speed, uh, go full speed up to that area, and we'll take over Lingard. So while we're doing this, well, once I do that, I'm going to actually use this Manta, and use, because this is a three shield, there are likely ships around it. I'm going to start taking out some of the ships. I do want to show you something silly. Oh, The way that the petrol drops off the seal is pretty silly. So now we'll go full speed ahead. Make sure I don't hit the island. And we're going to go full speed ahead towards Thermo Play. Or Thermo. I'm sorry, towards Lingard. Right, as we're doing that, I'm going to take this Manta. And I'm going to do some ship hunting. Since this Manta. Uh, since we're over 900, if I can safely fly over the island. I'm going to go about north to that other island, and you can start seeing some lights in the distance. And we'll start taking out a few ships. I do like to start at one end and work my way in. If you kind of just fly right in there, they will launch a lot of missiles at you, and they can't, or they can, and end up using up a whole bunch of your flares. Always remember to keep an eye on your flares. So that is a needlefish. They are very fast. 
and they're very difficult to hit because they're so fast. You'll see that I'm going through a number of my players. Alright, so that was one. I'm gonna go over here. I see what looks to be another needlefish. Take this one out. that one out. I'm going to turn on my IR countermeasures. I have halfway there. So I'm going to take out one more boat. I'm actually just going to call that a run. Because I have half my countermeasures. And once I'm south of this island, I'll just turn it over to the AI. Think about bringing this albatross back. And also think about configuring another manta to go hunt the rest of those boats. So I'm gonna... Oh, we don't have more, so I'll have to bring that manta back. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to send this manta out. A6. to surveil this island. And think about taking out some of these ground vehicles. And then we'll take this island. Alright, Lingard, it's you and me now. So... Killed two needlefishes. Needlefish? Fishes? Needlefish. Two needlefish. Alright. Convert this razor bill to a auto cannon razor bill. So that has not gotten there yet. This one is coming with four rocket pods. Good. This one has nothing, and it's going to go pick up 24 bombs and 100 and some odd rockets. So let's say 150. And then heavy, 24. money we have, 32. So make, guess what, more rockets. And I actually want to, cannot make an autocannon. I'll make four more of these. So I can have three Manta with it. here that we've got an albatross and a manta landing. Both of them are good on gas, so I'm actually going to pull them away so we can... Now we can land them. So I, I pulled them off their landing so we could get the manta off and so the Manta, you could hear as soon as I stopped them from landing, the Manta engine started. And this will allow me to start. My launch, or my attack. And it looks like we're going to also get that razor bill off before this manta comes and lands.
So this mantle will take off. And I should probably not be pointed directly at the island. So my aircraft don't fly over it at the low. Altitude. Alright, I'm gonna start this guy taking out some of these ground forces. Now, I will be a lot more cautious here, and I'll use a lot more ammunition because this is a two shield. These guys have much better weapons, and they have, and they're much better aiming. So you'll see me shooting from further away. And using the targeting reticle a lot more. A nice shot. Right, since this is a two shield. I'm going to make sure that there are not any turrets. So, the way to find turrets is to look inside the structures. And there usually won't be in the factories, but there will sometimes be turrets in the bases, and there is one. And there's also a turret. No, not a turret. So the these turrets will not have lights on them, so you they are very difficult to see during the day. And so we also need to look around the island to see if there's any turrets. They'll just be black. They almost look like spiders. And I wonder if we'll see one to show you. No, nope, that's not one. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get a turret to show you. They'll often be on ridges. Does not look like we have a turret. There's one. That's a turret. Now, on the turrets, I do always check them, so it'll tell you what it is, and then if you keep scanning by just zooming in on it, it'll tell you what its weapon is. And that works on the, uh, the turrets, it works on ground vehicles, it even works on the carrier, um, although you know what the carrier has. So these are all gun. Let's see what this one is. Yep, these are all just gun. They're not anti-air. So I can start taking things out using the razor bill. And let's start over on these. So like the petrol nose down and throttle up for speed. Make sure to take your throttle down so you don't get too high, but don't let your throttle get too low or you'll start losing altitude.
Now the turrets are better. They're better shots, in my opinion. As you hear, I just took a pretty hard hit. So I'm actually going to bug out. And I'll take out the rest using my Manta. Because I'd rather not lose another Razor Bill. That was a pretty good hit. And the turrets, especially the turrets that are um, up on the little pedestals, take a whole bunch to kill. The turrets that are not on, on the pedestal, that are just on the ground, are not as good. You probably heard that tink. I got hit. It's actually making me wonder if there's something else on this island other than just this last turret. I will quickly know if I hear or see anything shooting at me. You can also just zoom out and see if you have a um, red exclamation point. If you do, then that means you're getting shot at. So I'm actually going to move this razor bill away as no threat of dying or anything, although I did lose that razor bill at the end of the last video randomly, and I don't know why. I think it was because I was in such heavy seas and maybe it just got go gobbled up by a large wave as it was trying to land. I can't believe I've been all this time without my radar on. Alright, so the petrol is getting ready to take off again. I will drag a waypoint away from the seal. I will then set it at about 150. I don't like to do this in really heavy, um, really heavy seas. I'm also going to Something. I lost an albatross. Really. I am just losing aircraft left and right, aren't I? Well, at least I have my mantas, three of them. I think I need to make more mantas. What do you think? It's coming up with rocket pods. That guy is getting gas. I'm getting low ish on gas. Well, the good news is the petrol is down. It has picked up the um, seal and it drop right about there. I'm going to use my camera on my Manta, one of my few remaining Mantas, to decide where to drop. And I think I'm going to drop I'm going to drop to the south. I'm sorry, north. I'm going to drop to the north. Alright, while we're doing that... Oh, it does look like there is something. I really hope... 
I don't get shot down here. I have a exclamation point, so there is some vehicle or turret nearby. So we have our seal down. Releasing the bots. And then I'm going to drive. There we go. This direction. And if you don't set a waypoint far enough away, the petrol just won't even recognize. Here we go. Oh, this is one of those times that it might get into one of those circly things. Let's see if it... Nope, it's not going to get into a circly thing. All right, we have taken two islands, three islands. We took Vulcan. We made some barges. We took Thermo Pile. Thermo Pile. And we are in the midst of taking Lingard. In our next episode, I will launch another Manta with some rockets. We're going to go up and take the rest of these ships around Edmonton. We will also strafe the um, airport will strafe that uh, hangar, and we will probably get shot at. Hopefully, I can stop losing my aircraft that I spent so much money getting. Also, at the same time, we're going to go pick up a whole bunch of rockets, so we can get up to 200 now. Which is fantastic, because I go through them quickly. We're going to pick up some rockets. We're going to pick up some fuel. This barge is ready to go get me some more... Um, more mantas and some more rocket pots. I think I have four rocket pods that are made, two mantas, so let me order those. So with that albatross, I think the reason I lost it is I let it linger around Lingard before I had taken everything out. And it just got shot at because they're slow and they turn really slow and it was just a mistake on my part. But at Lingard we can make fuel. We don't need to yet because we're going to bring back a whole bunch of fuel from my warehouse. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and take Edmonton or Indyman and that's going to allow us to make torpedoes I'm sorry, Sanctuary is going to allow us to make torpedoes. Indyman is going to allow us to make what? It is going to allow us to make ammunition, including the 160 millimeter cannon, which I have not necessarily shown you yet. But I might in as we take Indyman. So there we go. We've got a petrol coming to land. We have... Oh yes, I can show you the silly thing, and then we'll call it... Okay, so, here's the petrol. Guess how it gets rid of 
that seal. This is something that I wish the developers would work on. Really what it should do is should just drop it right there and then it can, you know, drive in the back. But here comes the petrol for landing. And this is how it drops the seal. The seal goes through the deck and I'll show you that the seal is now already put away. A little silly. Developers should fix that. But I love this game anyway. So we've got all of our remaining aircraft that are not exploded in. I will add a few more Mantos. Some more rocket pods. And we'll take out some more islands in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. That was a virus bot blowing up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.